Hi, Neil O'Brien here, Profit Tip, and this week I'm going to talk about cost plus and selling price, and it's all about ensuring that your costs are included in your selling price. Now, this sounds so basic, doesn't it? You think everyone's going to do it, but believe me, I do more work in the area of selling price than any other area, and over and over again, I see that people set their selling prices too low, and this has huge implications on the business because the sales are lower than they should be, the profits are down and it can lead to cash flow problems. And one of the main causes of selling prices being set too low is that people do not include all their costs in their selling price. So, you know, this may apply to your business. And if it does, I'd like to make you aware of it. It's difficult to cover it in a short video, but I'm just gonna quickly go over two examples, a service business and a product business. So what you need to look at this area is you need to get your annual running costs, which you can get from your accounts or if you have SAGE or bank statements, and you need your selling price method. Now, you know, there are the various places you can get your running costs from, I said accounts, SAGE, etc. Now, first example, Mary's a web designer. Mary's overheads, that's her wages and her rent and insurance and so on, her annual running costs are 37,200. When I looked at her pricing method, she was only setting it to recover 32,000. So she had her hourly rate set too low. She couldn't recover all her costs. So we adjusted Mary's rate and her rate went from like 35 euros up to 41. And it meant that at the rate of business she was doing, she was at least going to cover all her costs and pay herself a wage. Second example was John is making furniture. Now, John in his pricing method was including 60% for overheads. So he'd have materials, direct labor, overheads being rent, insurance, all those other costs. Now, when I looked at his actual costs, John's overheads were 95% of materials. So what it meant is there's a gap between his, his overheads were higher than the level he was including in his selling prices. So he was setting his selling price too low. Now using his old method, John's selling price on a typical job that I looked at was 2,450 euros. Now when I included the correct level of overhead, that price went up to 2,940. So you can see there's over 500, almost 500 euros difference by including the selling prices, sorry, including the costs properly, it's gonna get the selling price up to the correct level. Now as I said, if you're interested in more details on this, there should be a link under this video for the profit tips. There is the three page document that you can access with just above this video. If you click on it, it'll give you those two examples and a bit more detail. And if you want more information, just click on the profit tips underneath. Thanks for listening.